Hey team, what does success look like to you? I just got off a clubhouse uh, conversation with two business colleagues who run super successful businesses. And, um, and one of the strategies that, that we talked about was delegating outcomes or success to particular team members rather than tasks. And we talked about this strategy of being really clear on what's the outcome that you want for your business or for a particular aspect of your business. And so for these people, these entrepreneurs, they were talking about delegating that and, and clarifying that to give it to their team. But we can do that at no matter what stage we're at in business, you know, whether you're just starting out or you've got a huge team, getting really clear on what does success look like? What does a successful outcome for this particular area look like? And I'm just going to take some time right now uh, after this video to journal for myself on this and I thought I would just pop in and do a quick video for you guys so you can take the time to do that too. What does success look like for your coaching and healing business this year? What does success look like? What is it that you are moving towards? It's so easy, particularly in social media, to get pulled off track and derailed and and um, pulled off your own center by great marketers saying, you need to do this, you need this funnel, you need to use this thing, you need to get my new lead Mac. Would you would you like my, you know, a copy of my latest PDF on this or that? And all of those things are good and they can all be helpful. But we can very easily then end up like a pinball mach machine, like a ball in a pinball machine, kind of being buffeted from one strategy to the next and not actually moving forward. And so particularly in the very noisy environment that we're in on social media, really coming back into your own center of what is it that I want? What is, you know, what does success look like for me? What does success look like based on my values and what's important to me? It's not about, it may not be about growing a million dollar business that, you know, lots of people are talking about or getting your next six figures or getting your 10K client. That may not be important to you or it may, right? What, there's no right or wrong here. But I would encourage you today, if you can, to take some time, if you haven't already, to journal on what does success look like for you in your business? What is it that's really important to you? Is it having, you know, being able to finish at two o'clock each day or three o'clock so that you can pick your kids up from school? Is it being able to have the freedom to work from anywhere? Um, is it having just a consistent, regular cash flow? What is what does success look like for you? And it's very easy to get caught up into buying other people's goals and go, oh, I want that because I see that other person talking about it or the other person has that. <sighs> but taking a big deep breath, really coming back into your center, grounding into your life and saying, what would, you know, what would the tangible outcomes be that would show me that I have had success in this area? What are the, the tangible, practical outcomes, the KPIs that are going to help me know that I am moving towards success? And when you have that North Star of what success looks like for you, then you can start to measure different strategies by that measurement, right? You can start to go, oh, will this particular strategy get me towards where I want to go? Yes, it will. Well, maybe that is a good strategy to use. And if no, it's not, or there's a hundred different strategies that might move me towards that goal. It's like, what's going to be the best one? Um, the key with the key with growing a successful coaching business in our modern world is to be really discerning about the practices and the strategies that we employ and recognizing that our journey doesn't have to be the same as anybody else's. Right, and that we're allowed to choose strategies that fit with who we are as a as a person, and a lot of things that work for other people um, sometimes don't work for quite spiritual or healer or heart centered businesses because they're running on different values paradigms. And so, being able to come back into your center of of knowing within yourself what does success look like for me, I would encourage you to journal on it and. Uh, and if you'd like, share in the comments below, what does success in your business look like for you? Write down a few kind of key bullet points. What, how would you know? Yes, I've got this, you know, next level of success 
um, in my business? Let me know in the comments below um, and I encourage you to journal on it today. Peace out.